Hi, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 28 of Aussie Clough, and something wonderful has happened. Now, if you remember last episode where we beat Liverpool amazingly at Anfield, we then were playing the rest of the top of the table, basically, and look at not just those green dots, but lack of red dots. Let's quickly go through what's happened. Now, didn't start off the best, as you can see. We're at home to Chelsea. We lost 1-0, and we gave a good account of ourselves in this game, to be honest, but we just weren't good enough to beat Chelsea. They're top of the league, and with good reason. Then we went to Everton. Now, Everton are a good team that is struggling this year. It was an even scrappy first half, but second half, we were absolutely rampant. Uh, now, as you can see, we conceded three goals, so defensively, we weren't great, but we scored six goals away at Goodison. And Jocko, as you can see, opened the scoring. Louis Mars was absolutely world-class. Four goals. Curtis Jones with a uh, six for us. As I said, rampant in the second half. It was absolutely amazing. Then we went and hosted Manchester United, and surprisingly, this was an even game. Game, which was the best thing of, ever, of all of it, really, is that it was actually an even game. Now, we were gifted our opener, you can see, just after half time. Um, Louis Mars again tapping that one in. But uh, we reacted well to United equalising, uh, which wasn't easy. 53rd minute, they equalised relatively quickly, but we, as I said, we reacted really well. And it wasn't an undeserved win. Elizage, back from injury, knocked in the winner in the 74th minute. And we, it was, as I said, it wasn't undeserved. It was an even game, which was just amazing. Then we went away to Tottenham. We were second best in this game, if we're honest, but we nicked the goal from a set piece. It was uh, Ed Sheeran getting his first for the club. Um, and it was a, what is, well, at the time it was a good point. It turned out to be a wonderful point. Then we went to Stoke and again, 3-1. You can see Curtis Jones with a first and last minute goal, an own goal in the middle there. It, again, it was an even game. We rode a luck a little bit. Uh, we had Vazquez back in goal, and he made a stunning penalty save, which really, really helped us. Uh, that would have made it, um, at the time, put them ahead. Oh, no, it would have made it 2 all. sorry, uh, at the time. So, stunning save, and another, as I said, not, a, not undeserved win. Then we had the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. We hosted Wolves. Now, Wolves are a championship club, albeit a good one. Um, Van Jongelen, if you remember him from our time at Villa, he was playing for Wolves, which surprised me a little bit. Uh, but we rested some players for this. This wasn't a strongest team, and we were still too good for championship wolves you can see z law got an opening minute goal soya uh, just after half time with a second we go through to the semi-finals of the carabao cup can this season get any better you can see we're drawn against chelsea uh, so it's not going to be easy but we're again as we what two games away from wembley so this episode, it's going to be Leicester in the league, and unfortunately, the FA Cup has meant the Arsenal games move. So we'll also show our third round tie of the FA Cup, um, which we've been drawn at home to Leeds. And Leeds are, once again, I think a championship club? No, they're a League One club, first at uh, top of League One. So again, a tie we probably should win, and we will rest players for that. Because if you look at the league table, we are Champions League. I said we are Champions League. We are, what, five? Well, Liverpool's played an ex two extra games and we're still five points clear of fifth place. I said at last episode we'll get a better idea of, of where we stand after playing that, that top half of the, t of, the, of the table. I don't know if we can win it. Chelsea are six points ahead. We are going for Champions League football this year. I, that sounds ambitious, and if we can keep... But we tend to be stronger in the second half of seasons, don't we? I mean, we've kicked on League One and Championship season. We really, really kicked on second half. If we can do the same thing here, I mean, six points isn't insurmountable, but it's not really our goal. I think we can make the Champions League, which is absolutely insane. Um, but let's get on with Leicester, see how we go. Can we keep this going? Um, and you'll notice straight away, if we look at the team, that there's a strange person in goal, Story, uh, Andy Story. We've had to loan him in from Middlesbrough, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, reason being, the Asian Cup is on, which means we've lost both Token Aussie and Vazquez to the Australian national team. Uh, as much as I love the Australian national team, I really wish they would F off on this one because we needed goalkeepers. So it's Andy's story. The only game that's going to affect us is, is the game against Middlesbrough. Um, we're going to have to give Andrew Steele a game in that, I think. And you can see, yeah, not a Premier League goalkeeper. But yeah, he'll he'll be in. He'll he did a good job against Wolves, so hopefully he won't let us down. It's going to be about a month. It's uh, sort of assuming Australia goes deep in the Asian Cup, which you would think they would. Um, it's going to be sort of end of January, early February before we get our goalkeepers back. So yeah, it's story in goal. It's Davidson, Ed Sheeran, and Malakase. We've got our first choice defence across the back. Scando and Toth comes in to play down the right. I accidentally played uh, Njoku against Wolves. Didn't mean to do it. Meant to meant to put Toth in, but didn't. So we're going to have to rest him for this one. Toth comes in. Griffiths and Arosa in midfield. It's Alex Alex Jones. Uh, not the conspiracy theorist. Curtis Jones is going to play in behind Elizage and Louis Mars. Uh, Elizage is back to fitness. 
Callum Mosley can see he's on the bench. His mat fitness is not great, but we will look to bring him off the bench here to, to improve that. Of course, I should say for the best of all those wonderful goals um, between episodes, um, goals of the month, the end of this episode will be there for that. So after Leeds, do stick around. Uh, expect it to prove a point. Come on, lads, show us what you can do to keep our run going. I think that's the team talk, isn't it? We've just got to ride this wave as long as we can. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But I think we've got to be ambitious here and aim for Champions League. And of course, if we do aim for Champions League and we fall short, you know, maybe we end up in the Europa League, and that's not necessarily a bad thing either. So, yeah, it's I cannot believe the the run that we are on, and oh, Jones is injured. Uh, okay, so we have Bennett on the bench. We don't have Zeeler on the bench. Why don't I have Zeeler? Oh, because he would have played against um, against Wolves. That's the reason why. So that's okay. We can play. Just make a few sort of uh, positional changes there. Hopefully, Jones isn't out for too long. Of course, one thing that could derail us uh, in our bid for Champions League football would be injuries, wouldn't it? Because we don't have the deepest squad right now. Um, one thing I am looking at upgrading, I think, in January, if we can get the funds, and I don't even know if we necessarily need that many funds. There's a couple of strikers that I'm looking at, very highly rated um, potential, not necessarily at this point any better than what we have, but certainly look going forward. And here's a go here for Toth. Can he pull it back? He can Elzage for home! And the run looks as though it's going to continue. What a goal. Good ball from Lawrence Bennett out to Scando. Wing back to wing back is just so deadly for us this year. Toth pulls it back delightfully to Elizage, who cannot miss. 1-0 to Nottingham Forest over Leicester City. Now, this would be a bit of a derby, too, wouldn't it? A bit of an East Midlands derby. Um, certainly not the big one for, for Forest, but uh, I'm assuming, I, I'll confess, not up on my East Midlands derbies, but I'm assuming this is going to be one of the bigger ones. So the fans would be loving this. But yeah, I was saying, I think we can upgrade on Louis Mars. I don't necessarily... Don't, don't think he's doing a bad. He scored four goals against Everton. He's not doing a bad job by any means. Um, but I think that is somewhere that we can look to upgrade. Um, so I think that's something we might look to do in January. Um, if we need to, we we need to make space in the squad uh, for a new striker. So we may even, as harsh as it sounds, if we could move Louis Mars on, we might even look to do that. Uh, I don't want to move Callum Mosley on because he's done it for us in the Premier League at Villa. And we know that he can he can do it. So Louis Mars, I think he's not as good as Callum Mosley, and I think there's there's maybe some limitations there. And what I'm going to do here is just go through, do some individual team talks, and then we'll come back for this second half. So it wasn't the most free flowing of first halves, but I think I think we're uh, we'll take that, won't we? We've got the lead. If we can do the same again this half, more than happy. Um, now I'm not quite sure how we've beaten some of the teams that we've beaten. What I've done tactically is we we have lots of strength in the air, don't we, with Malakates and Davidson um, particularly. So what I've been doing against the bigger teams is sitting a little bit deeper, and I think can we get Louis Mars? Not going to hit the back post. It's over. Um, basically making them making them play in front of us and and basically trying to go through us and or around us. Now if crossers come into the box, I sort of back our defenders to head them away. Um, and generally those better teams, they have pace up front and they look to play through you. So I'm trying to deny them the ability to do that. And it's work. It's work like a tool. You can, I mean, the results speak for themselves. It's work like a charm. There's a decent ball in for better down to oh. Elisage. Oh, I should have done better with that. So I, that's basically what I've done. That's the only thing I've changed from when we play sort of like Leicester, where we have a, a, the normal line or our sort of run up through the leagues, league one and championship. It's really the only... Oh, it's bad defending. He's offside. We've got away with that one. Um, that's really the only thing I've changed. As I said, it's just sitting our defensive line a little bit deeper, um, sort of trying to stop the better teams pl from playing through like through balls and getting in behind us and making them sort of basically beat us in the air. So, yeah, I, I, other than that, I don't don't really know what to say. I'm not quite sure how it's happening either. Louis Mars, go home! <laughs> That's 2-0. That's Louis Mars. Do we need to replace him? I mean, yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> but as much as I love Louis Mars, he's not going to take us up to the next level. 
Um, but that that's two in, in a row like that. Now he's uh, he's banged them in, hasn't he? I think it was against Brighton last episode. Almost a carbon copy of that goal. Um, look at this. They've had five shots on goal, granted, but none on well, now one on target. We're absolutely stifling them out of the game. Now what I do want to do is give Callum Mosley some match fitness. Elazar just looking tired. We might take him off. Mosley, you can see he's not the worst target man. We might just look to play him as an advanced forward. He does have a little bit of ability in the air, I think. Uh, 10 to 14 strength. Little bit of ability in the air. So we'll take that risk. I do want to give him some match fitness. Uh, and Elazar, if we can rest him, then I think that's what we need to do. Scando on a booking. Oh, we need to. Oh, I did unpause it. Scando on a booking is someone else that we should probably look to get off the field here, isn't it? We're 2 0 up. Um, he's looking tired. Save his legs. Uh, we might even, while we're here, just look to set our wing backs to more defensive. We don't need to give them a goal away uh, back and then sort of be hanging on a little bit here. We could probably look to change it to control as well, but, you know, where's the fun in that? Um, so it's good to see Story Touchwood has done okay. If you remember last season when we had to bring an emergency keeper in, I think was it Mare we signed uh, from Arsenal on loan, and he did have a bit of a Mare to start with, wasn't he? He was not not good, but in the end he came through for us. Now that was, I think Token Aussie got injured, didn't he? And we didn't have Vasquez at that point. Um, so yeah, but so far uh, Story has settled in nicely and done a decent job for us. Malakase heads it away. Griffiths is there. Oh, he's done well there, hasn't he, Griffiths? Arosa. Now, can we... No, we can't do anything with that. All right, let's... This is prolonged possession for Leicester, which I'm not a fan of. Can we get a block in here? Oh, no, he can't miss. Okay. Well, that was before we made the changes. You can see they're still sitting there waiting to be made. So the wingbacks weren't yet sitting back. Um... Yeah, not great. We just, it's the first time really they've had a sort of prolonged highlight, isn't it? We've done well of denying them that, but that, I'm not sure Story's covered himself in glory there, has he? I did speak too soon. Uh, we will keep going with those changes, and what we will also do is we might just go to count, uh, to standard. Can we, he does clean that, okay. Again, our inability to keep clean sheets is just giving us these nervy ends to games. It's... Another part of the team I think we couldn't look to improve. Um, I mean, Davidson and Malakase, they are loan players. We don't own them. So it might be a case of perhaps even for next season looking to sign permanently some better players. There's a good ball for Callum Mosley. He latches onto it. Go on, Callum. Go on, Callum. Go on, Callum. Off the post. Oh, he did so well until the end, and that would have wrapped it up for us. Let's give this a concentrate. It's right there for us. Oh, okay, we've got a corner. We'll wait and see what happens with this. Griffiths to knock it in. He's gone to the edge of the area. Bennett should be there. He is. He knocks it in for Malakase. Turns first time. Mostly, is he offside? He is offside. Oh, he just, it, it looked offside, didn't it? Unlucky, though, for Callum. So what we might do here is just start, just kill this game off. Uh, we want to go highly structured. We want to lower the tempo. We want to waste time. We want to stay on our feet, be more disciplined, stick to positions, retain possession, and on we go. There's no, I don't think you have any arguments about the offside. It certainly looked offside, but look, yeah, even just these shots. Leicester's really come back into this since we went 2 0 up. All right, Griffiths, Arosa Bennett, it's back to Arosa. Can he find a nice ball through? He can. Mosley's not quite there. It was. It was there, Mosley or Bennett, or Bennett, or Mars, if either one of them wanted it, it was certainly there for them, but uh, it just didn't quite happen. It's good to see a Rosa playing those nice through balls, though. Oh, it's gone over the top. Ed Sheeran should be there. Just hold him up. It's coming out wide again. Oh, look how many men they have in the middle. We've got to win this. We've got to win this. Back post. Oh, Toth. He did well. He's hopeless in the air as well. So he did really, really well there. But this should be it. It is all over. Three points. Another nervy end because we cannot keep clean sheets. But in the end, even game again, and we've just shaded it. Uh, let's go with let's go with guard against complacency going forward. I think that could be something we're falling guilty of. Jones, four to seven weeks. It's not great. Four to five weeks if we send him straight to the physio. 
oh, that's not fantastic. But you can see there was another game where it was an even game. We just shaded it and and we've won three more points. So happy days, but yeah, not fully convincing. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Leeds in the FA Cup. Okay, welcome back. It's Leeds in the FA Cup. We are favourites at home, as you would expect. But let's have a look at the team we're sending out. You can see a bit of a funky formation that's due to how the scouts are expecting Leeds to play. And you'll notice it's not a first choice team either. We're not too concerned about the FA Cup this year. So it's Story in goal, Cox and Mitchell in the back. Uh, Mason playing sort of as a halfback with the Silva Lopez and Toth down the wings. Clark, I think it's the first time we'll have seen Charlie Clark on the channel. He comes in to play at the a deep line playmaker with Bobby Mack. Uh, Ole Gunnar Zilor comes in as well to play in behind Sawyer and Louis Mars. Oh good, the scouts got it correct. So they are playing the one man up front with uh, just someone in behind it, sort of a number 10 role there. So that's why we have Mason uh, playing where he is. Uh, team talk, expected to prove a point. We really should be going out there to win this. Um, let's give the fans what they're expecting. Uh, yeah, we are at home, so I should have probably checked that before I... Uh because that's the team talk that doesn't tend to work away from home for us this season, isn't it? Um, so there we go. Let's go hopefully get into the fourth round of the FA Cup. All right, let's go. Now, a few uh, bits of housekeeping um, while this game's going on as well. First of all, I've looked into the board. We have 19 million to spend on transfers to boost this Champions League push that we have. Um, so next episode after the January transfer window has closed, we will, I um, would almost guarantee, have uh, some signings. We'll look to strengthen. Um, what we'll probably do is look to strengthen um, more depth. Like, So we'll bring in good first team players. There's a decent shot off the bar. It's there for Toth. Go home! Charlie Clark so unlucky with the first effort, which would have been a goal of the season contender, almost definitely. Uh, but it's forward to Toth, who knocks it in beautifully. Sawyer's picked out Charlie nicely there, and Toth couldn't miss, really, could he? Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, yeah, so next episode, almost definitely, there'll be some new signings. We'll look to sign first-team players or maybe some good young players. Um, and then, so, for example, we have Mitchell in this, um, in this game playing uh, central defense over there. He's someone that... You know, we'll probably look to someone bringing in to uh, rep English, please, to replace him. Um, so he may leave. I think his contract's up at the end of the year in any case. So even if he just sits in the reserves for the rest of the year and we can move him on. There's a decent ball in. Fire! <laughs> Two goals in as many minutes and Forrest is well and truly underway here all over Leeds United. What a start to the game. Um, yeah, so Dimitri, uh, Dimitri Mitchell, uh, Ryan Mitchell, I think it is, he, he'll he probably, um, if not leave this window, then we'll get you know, see him out the door in the summer. Um, striking is another area. Louis Mars has done brilliantly for us this year. I just don't think he's good enough long term. Um, so if I can get another striker in, and we might even look to see if someone will take Louis Mars off our hands. Things like that that we'll look to, we'll look to sort of strengthen, um, strengthen from the top and then, the depth will come from the first team players that sort of lose their first team position just wide there. Or was it? No, he did grab it. Um, so that's that. We've got some extra money. I've converted some of that into wages as well because we were a little bit over on our wage budget. Um, so that sort of all helps keep the board happy. Uh, and the other bit of news is Klopp's been sacked from Villa. You may have noticed they're languishing. I think they're only about four or five points off relegation right now. Um, so the Villa job's available again. Obviously, tempting to go for it, but we won't be doing that because... We have quite a mission on our hands here, and we are coming through quick. This We're actually doing this quicker than we did with Villa, uh, and I thought our progress with Villa was very, very impressive. So, um, yeah, the things that we're doing with Forrest are just nothing short of miraculous right now. There's a nice ball for Toth. Look at the space he's in. Can he get across in for Sawyer? Oh, just over the bar from Jordan Sawyer. As we probably should be exploiting the flanks here because there's so much space out there for us. You can see what Leeds are trying to do. They're trying to stop us coming through the middle. Um, but I mean, we are just absolutely walking down the flanks right now. A bit of complacency in midfield. Bobby Mack and Zelor not happy with that. We'll try and fix that at half time. Uh, at 2-0, we're essentially, we're essentially through at this point, aren't we? Touch wood. Uh, League 1 team at home. They barely had a sniff. Um, 
it would be quite the turnaround for them to come back from this. Uh, of course, famous last words, no doubt that will come back to bite me. Uh, don't get complacent. I think an assertive, don't get complacent. Um, Toth seems to lose confidence. He was actually brilliant that first half, so that should bring the, co the confidence back. And then we'll come back for the second half. All right, just tried to get rid of some of the complacency there. Um, told Louis Mars to do better because he hasn't been fantastic. Um, again, we're looking to give Callum Mosley some game time here to get the match fitness back. We'll give this. I don't want to overdo it because he has been injured a little bit lately, but I'm thinking maybe 60th minute might be the time for him to come on. Um, let's see what harms of this highlight. There's sort of there's no we don't have to worry about not. Oh, I thought that was in. Not having faith in him to come on and do a job for us. He's He's a better player than Louis Mars, isn't he? So, if anything, making that change is going to strengthen us rather than weaken us. Um, I'm wondering, Z-Law again, he doesn't play well when he starts, and I don't really understand why that is. Uh, so we'll bring Mosley on for Mars. Um, we'll contemplate Z-Law's future here. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, it, that's where the Oli Gunnar Z-Law comes from, isn't it? He just... He comes off the bench and this wonderful... St oh, Clark again. He deserves a goal. That's twice he has almost lashed one in from the edge of the area. Um, he's looking complacent as well. We're going to take him off. We're going to bring Bennett on. Um, we need to give Bennett some more game time anyway. So it sort of works for everybody, that one. Zelo has been complaining about not starting en uh, enough games, which, I mean, while I do understand it, at the same time, when he's starting, he's just not doing it for us. He's, but like I say, he comes off the bench and is just absolutely world class. So it's difficult to difficult to know what to make of him. Tell him to push forward here. We really should be looking to get another goal or two here. Um, oh, great! Can we defend this? Let's just keep a clean sheet against a League One team, please. Oh, lucky! Off the crossbar. That is, I think that's the biggest weakness of our team right now. It's just inabilities to keep clean sheets. We score goals. Um, mostly that's nicely done. Can Sawyer pick out? He's going to go for it himself. No, he finds Toth. Toth! Oh, it's horrid. It's a horrible shot. Um, yeah, I just think that is probably the biggest weakness is we just don't keep clean sheets right now. Um, but we're, we're winning games, so we're getting away with it. Oh. Unlucky again. Um... Yeah, so I think, you know, defence and I think Louis Miles, we can do better. And in midfield, I'm not displeased with our midfielders. We, there's, we could maybe bring in some better quality, maybe. Um, but I don't think the midfield is our weakest point right now. Another thing we could look at doing as this ball floats around Clark, oh, it's not his best effort, is getting better backups out wide. So we're through to the fourth round, which is nice. Um, I feel like Toth does a job... Doesn't he was man the match in that game? I mean, it's my own fault. We're paying him way too much money. 33 grand a week or something. Uh, well done, boys. And I just feel 33 grand a week should be buying us a little bit more than than basically pace with no end product and terrible tackling. So um, I think there could be uh, an improvement that we make there. But, you know, we'll see what happens through January. But that's it for that episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back on Sunday. Uh, we'll come back. We're going to do Carabao Cup. We'll do the semi-final. Uh, hopefully, we'll stay in, in the first leg and Manchester City away because they're up there, aren't they? Fourth. So they, that's going to be our games, isn't it? Uh, we won't do the Villa game. They're they're a struggling club, and we can do Arsenal later in the year. We want to see the second leg of the of the semi-final. Hopefully, it'll be not a dead rubber. And Manchester City fourth in the league. That is a big game for us. So if you've enjoyed that, if you're enjoying this season, thumbs up. It's much appreciated, guys. It helps people find the channel, which obviously helps me out. If you're new, subscribe. We could see Forrest in the Champions League next season. You would not want to miss that. I can't believe I'm saying it, but that's that's what's that's our target now. We have no we have no choice. Look at these green dots. It's first team in the first season in the Premier League. That's insane. But anyway, I'll see you on Sunday. Take care until then. And before we go, here are some of our best goals from December.
amigos. Como... 